All right, it is post state of emergency, and I've got myself a lemon sour. I'm here with my buddy. Hey, I'm Jerome. Jerome. I don't know if it was Jerome or Jerome. Yeah, it totally depends on which part of the country you're coming from. But I'm Jerome. <laughs> Jerome. Which I means in, in Katakana it's Jerome with no no bashi. It's, it's not Jerome, <laughs> it's just Jerome. Jerome. So I think this is the first alcoholic beverage I've drank in a few months since inside of a restaurant. Ooh, same here. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So basically, the Tokyo government issued a number of really creepy rules, but this paper was issued by the Tokyo government itself and the, the izakaya that we're at right now. Well, we got here because we knew what the rules were, but we wanted to make sure we were able to... Right? We're a law-abiding citizen. Law-abiding hygiene, right? <laughs> anyway. But I didn't see a paper in front of here, so I'm curious to know if this place would kick us out after 90 minutes or whatever. Oh, but apparently not. We got, we got a two-hour reservation. Yeah. And they knew we were drinking? Yeah. All right, well, let's get some yakiniku. Yeah. After this, uh, well... Not after this in terms of the time, temporal time, but like uh, the next clip you're gonna see after here, I'll, I'll be at the hub in Gotanda. <laughs> Actually, I think not the hub, it closed. Um, 82? Yeah, I'll be at the 82 in Gotanda. I wanna get a drink down there and see what happens, the whole process of that. Number two. Was there a limit on the, you see it on the paper, if there was a limit of how much we could drink? No, there, there are time yet. It's five to seven. But that's not here, that's government. Government's useless. Government is useless. Yes. Hey, I think you meant Ron Paul, but let's go here. I'm Ron gonna make Paul. you the Ron Jeremy of Ron Paul followers. I got I do have the long hair, but I was also thinking of Ron Swanson. <laughs> Ron Swanson's the dissolvent okay. type right. of criterion, yeah. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, Ron Swanson is a great libertarian. But don't ever say that Ron Swanson is a better libertarian than Ron Paul. No, not at all. <laughs> but, Ron great comparison. Right, right. <laughs> I guess there's no limit to we, how, how much you can drink, but we've been here for over an hour now, haven't we? Over an hour. Yeah, and not how much you can drink, how much time you can drink. If you've got like the whole 90 minutes to drink, that might promote some college behavior. <laughs> how many like strong zeros or chew highs or whatever these are called, how many of this can you shove down your gullet in 90 minutes? That's a challenge for my viewers. I'm 35 and I'm about to be challenged to my college limits. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. I turned 30 in October, man. Yeah, I got funny story about this. When I was in college, I was at a uh, Nomi Horai, like, uh, you know, right with my college buddies. They were all like 18, 19, I was 21 because I, I transferred schools, right? So I had to take all the freshman classes. I was at a Nomi Horai with a bunch of 18 and 19 year olds, right? I out drank them by a mile. Yeah, that's number four. So I, I out drank them, but like, I finished a whole pitcher of Asahi for example, by myself, and I wasn't even buzzed. Right. But my you're, friend, adult. you're a goddamn adult, and, and you're an American hero. <laughs> but I went to Arizona State, too. So I had a little bit of training before I came here, right? So either way, <laughs> all my friends... Either way, you're an American hero. I became the, uh, the class alcoholic at Sophia University for a while, so... Yeah. That scared them. Also the fact that I was not a virgin either, even though I was 21. <laughs> wait, 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 21 and not a virgin? Well, that's the thing, like I went to school, you know, my first year of college, I was with a bunch of uh, 18 and 19 year olds, and that's when that's, they mostly uh, lost their virginity, so you know. That sounds sarcastic, but. but I, I um, talked about this in a video six years ago, by the way. Yeah, same here. Um, <laughs> bro, no, I'm being serious. No uh, more meats. I didn't. Lose my virginity until I was almost 24. Oh shit! You're a good-looking dude. I don't know how that's possible. Because I was Mormon. Oh. And that's why I came to Japan in 2005. I came as a Mormon missionary in 2005. Oh so, shit! 
shit. Because of my Mormonism, I was celibate for years. I mean, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, they're, they're probably a player. What do you think about it? Oh, it's actually pretty incredible. Like, it's true, most Mormons actually agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a pretty good uh, or, uh, They did a lot of research in Salt Lake City. Yeah. <laughs> So him and I are starting a podcast, by the way. Well, you guys might know I'm a libertarian, so... <laughs> Don't give away all our secrets. No, we're not, we're not, but you know. I know. Look forward to that. Look forward to that, yeah. This guy's got the Kawike rainbow, but not the... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but not the other thing. How many did we drink? I forgot. Uh, like five. Let's go with five. Five is five. fine. I forgot. I honestly forgot. The, the number of flowers that my wife bought and I complimented multiple times. It's all fine. Fine. Let's go with five. <laughs> it's five. Okay. That was delicious meat in our mouths. We're at this Friday's in Ariake. So the rule is, if we're going to get alcohol, which we did, we got beer, we have to be here for 90 minutes only. That's the rule, and this place is following it. All right, I got a blue, or you got the blue moon. I got the Brooklyn Lager. Right here. Hey. Okay, you're taking a picture. She's taking her Insta buy. You hear that? Why is it beeping? Must not be right with the door. Okay, I think I figured out the problem. There's an error with this thing. Alrighty. That was weird. Yeah, it's definitely the alcohol. It's definitely the alcohol, Koei K san, you fing dumbass. This rain is obscene. Yeah. This looks slightly problematic. Look at the platform. Now I'm gonna go check out the hub down the street here. I haven't been to hub since like Christmas. And actually one of the, there's two hubs down here. One of them is 82 Ale House, which is owned by hub. It's essentially hub with a different menu. I'm gonna go down here, get some food, but I'm also gonna test out the rules and see what the rules are. They got a big ass sign in front of the place that says you gotta do all this shit. I don't know, we'll, I'll show you when we get down there. Some of my buddies have said that some of these hubs, like in the more populated parts of town, have lines out front of them because of all the checks that they're doing. I'm hoping because of the fact that it's storming right now, uh, I won't have to deal with that. Are they even open? Okay, yeah, they are. They're open. Um, all right. So, group of two or less, they're gonna measure my temperature finger disinfection, wear a mask, no sharing drink, no talking to other customers, stay for 90 minutes. Well, how do they enforce any of this shit? Ah, uh, so this is how they do it. They actually have this thing here, so you gotta get out of here by this time. I mean, by this time anyway, this place is shut down, but... Alright, I'm good. There we go. The guy at the counter likes my shirt. <laughs> well, this is what's on the menu here. They still have these. Well, unfortunately, I can't use my Rugby World Cup card anymore, but they got this one now. I guess it's a new type of card. I haven't been here in ages. Well, this particular place, I don't think I've been here for like well over a year. <sighs> Apropos. 
Yeah, so apparently what they got is a new type of card, which is kind of makes me sad that I had to get rid of my Rugby World Cup card, but that's what it looks like, and you, I guess you can even put it on your phone, which I mean, it kind of makes sense that they do that, because that old card's kind of an archaic kind of magnetic uh, strip card or something like that, so still. Ah, the world moves on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the rule and see if uh, they actually kick me out after 90 minutes. So I got in here at 7 or 6.06 p.m. And that little clock I showed you there is at 7.36, right? So how much can I drink in 90 minutes? Ah, this is... I don't want to drink too much though because I'm going to drink some tomorrow night. <laughs> Yes, this is my dinner tonight. <laughs> this is definitely, I love how they make these, look at this. Downside right now though is the selection has been absolutely decimated. Like, the amount of standard cocktails, for example, is like cut in half. I mean, they still got 82 lemon, premium gin and tonic. They don't have the uh, beer towers. They don't have the tower of cocktail so they're definitely just appealing right now to people who are just coming in here to get some food and leave damn all right let's go grab round two before i gotta put this mask on though first i gotta put a mask on before i approach the bar oh, there's no limit to what i the number of drinks I can have. So if you're a power drinker, this is actually a good challenge. Go to a hub, see how much you can blast yourself with in 90 minutes, record it, put it on YouTube, and uh, send me a tweet. <laughs> this probably isn't gonna help my diet. <laughs> yeah. They say you have to come in groups of two, but like who's to say that I can't come here with a group of two, and then randomly someone comes here with a group of two, and randomly someone comes here with a group of two, and all four of these people just so happen to also be my friend. You see the problem, or lack thereof in my opinion. Hey, I'm the one vaccinated, so you know completely vaccinated. Okay, so that gentleman right there came to me saying that uh, 19 o'clock is last order. I'm gonna finish this. Actually, I should probably order some before 19 o'clock. Okay. <sighs> you never wanna chug Guinness, that's a bad idea. <sighs> Let's get one more. Numero san. Back to the hub pump bail. I like how they do that. They, they have a thing with it. The, they go like, they flex in like, and they pour it in here. Yeah. I'm already getting drunk, maybe. Drinking alcohol during a pandemic that's getting worse in Japan edition, even though I am vaccinated edition. So they have the baseball game on, so... <laughs> I'll enjoy that. It's 1910, the people who sat over here actually moved over there. <laughs> We're gonna say in a couple minutes though, food last order, but I wonder if they actually are gonna kick me out at 1936. Literally no reason to stay here right now, but I'm gonna stay here and see if they kick me out. <laughs> just, oh yeah, hi. Okay, so they just came to me asking me for food last order and a non-alcoholic beverage. So I ordered some popcorn and water because I want some water anyway. Oh, hi, arigato gozaimasu. Nice. The new card. It's 36. I didn't get my popcorn yet. Where's my popcorn? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> well, it's 1940 something. I'm still watching the uh, game on TV. I got water. Hmm. They didn't kick me out. 
so they're not following that rule. <laughs> oh well. I've been here a full 15 minutes after they were, I was supposed to leave rather. No one's told me to leave, although I am officially done with my popcorn and my water. So I really have no reason to be here. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> so yeah, I guess if, I mean, they're not really enforcing the times, I guess. You made this some beer. It's the jet keg from Freedom Lab. Or something, I don't really know. Mika bought this for me, my lovely honey. <laughs> Alright, how does this work? Oh no! <laughs> Did you already run out of CO2? No. Oh. I turned it off. Oh. Don't overpressurize it. We're gonna end up wearing the keg otherwise. We're gonna, I'm gonna take a sip of his Saison. <sighs> Tastes like yeast. That's actually a really good Saison. I'm not a Saison fan, but this is a great Saison. Um, apparently rental spaces don't give a shit about neither uh, capacity nor time. And you can drink as much as you want. This is my third and fourth beverage of the night. Delta Airlines. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're all about to get the Delta Airlines variant. Hello. Everybody look at my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm stealing your man. Is this uh, like a uh, Tiger King? I'm, I'm sorry, Mika. I found a new man and it's not Adam. Oh, it's somebody's birthday. Woo! Happy birthday to Country outside or AJ. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear AJ. <laughs> Start. Oh, titties. Start stacking. Oh, hi. Start stacking. <laughs> All right, you ready for this, Mika? Yes. <laughs> I'll hold it. <laughs> Wait, I, I want to take a picture, not a video. Put it on this. Is that one empty? It is not, is it? Take the empty one from over there, not the full. Do not use a full can, Tim. It's not me. What are you talking about? What was that sound? We could reach the ceiling. Could we reach the ceiling, Mika? Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. I want to... I know I'll Oh my god, Tim. I could smell your burp. Oh! Down. Oh my god, Mika, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and somebody please. Press Tim, make the yourself button. helpful or useful and grab the hit the Wait. button. Can we do this? Hold on. <laughs> Hopefully that worked. So we're in the back alleys of Shinjuku. And uh, there's a new state of emergency and there is no alcohol allowed. But look! Literally look. They're literally promoting Osaka because many of these places are saying, hey, we can't survive with these rules and you're not giving us enough support. 
So, screw you, government. Oh, uh, but these guys, sadly, no alcohol for them. But look how empty it is. You can tell which places are serving alcohol by how crowded they are. This area is nice though, isn't it? Yeah, I like it too, like an old town kind of feel. Place is craft beer. Yeah, this place is selling alcohol. This place is selling alcohol. One of my buddies who owns a bar here in Shinjuku literally was like, look, the government can go screw itself. We're not getting enough support. If we don't stay open and get customers, we're gonna literally have to, you know, shut down. So <laughs> not good, is it? Ooh, they have a Yamazaki over here. That's rare. You see that? We made it inside one of the places that's staying open and they just... <laughs> so, Nika got a beer and uh, we got ourselves some lemon sour. So, come by to the government for screwing us all over. How's <laughs> it going? They just handed me another drink. Most of my... Third one? I think I forgot. Is that okay? That's okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> After eight, and we should be gone, but like a lot of these places, yeah, I know, I know, I'm not. Uh, this place is still popping off, and a lot of places that are staying open. I haven't seen a single cop though. So this is kind of the state of emergency in Japan, really. And I personally, given the fact that I'm fully vaccinated, and so are you, I personally am kind of happy that I can do this. So I really appreciate you asking us to come out today. <laughs> So we're in front of, well, we're underneath the train tracks here in Gotanda, and we're at the Far East Brewery, which apparently is saying you to the government. Basically, just straight up saying, yeah, we can't survive, you know, unless we sell beer. So uh, we'll take your 3,000 yen fine and shove it up our asses. That's exactly what the lady in the. Oh, she didn't actually say that. No, but yeah, I was actually kind of surprised to see beer in such an open environment over here. So beer on, right, honey? <laughs> All right, I ordered beer at a restaurant. So did my girlfriend. <laughs> she got the IPA. I've had that before, but I've never tried this one yet. This is the Tokyo Blonde Golden Ale. Kampai. Oh god, I got a bad hair day. Kampai. All right. All right, here we go. Never tried this one yet. Mm. That's good. Oh. oh, I haven't had alcohol since Saturday. <laughs> I didn't take my, you know, I didn't do my due diligence as a social media influencer. I didn't take a picture of this before we dove into it, but this is apparently vegan taco rice. Normally I'm not a fan of vegan stuff, but this is like pretty good. <laughs> this looks good. She got that as well. Is that why we're dating? We always order the same food. What is that? We're at Mango Tree. This is for the beer series on drinking during COVID. We're at Mango Tree in Shinagawa and uh, they just straight up handed us the alcohol menu. She got tan. Very tan. So tell me, I don't want to film the people behind us. Do they have beer? Damn. Because I can see it. <laughs> right in front of me. <laughs> I had too much to drink yesterday. I'm not gonna get any beer today. I want I want a wiggle my What do you guys say the moral of the story is when it comes to the alcohol ban and how it's not really working? Do you guys think there's a moral to this story? Because if you go to Shinjuku, everyone's drinking. Same as Shibis. 
People got a drink, right? Uh, I'm, oh, I'm not sure there's a moral to the story. I bring my own. <laughs> That's what I usually do. Yeah, basically, um, the government in Japan, I guess, in my interpretation, lost all credibility. So, oh, we don't have any alcohol in the fridge. Yeah, basically, if you're going to tell people not to do something, you probably should live by your own rules, whereas the government usually doesn't here in Japan. Also, maybe not hosting a multinational sporting event. Might send a message if you want people to stay home. Also, if you want to tell people to, you know, not operate their business, maybe give them some compensation. I don't know. They do get compensation. Yeah, but not nearly enough. My buddy owns a bar in Shinjuku, and he said that the compensation doesn't even pay for rent. So, uh... I mean, they already had to move once because of COVID, so this new place that they're at, they were banking on having to stay open, and, uh, well, they stayed open, they got fined, and they're like, okay, I'll just take it out of today's earnings. <laughs> go to Australia, go to China, and get, get, arrested. get arrested. Yeah, by the military, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Back to work, right? Okay.